so um Da Vinci was right, okay? He picked the Suns to win on uh the thirtieth Tuesday. I picked my my Golden State Warriors. We lost. We didn't look that impressive. I wasn't worried. Um, but I know for sure we do need to get a big man back. Wiseman is sorely missed. We do need to get some re- resemblance of an actual big man. I know if we could turn back the, the hands of time and get Bogut, we'd be Gucci. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or even David Lee. We'd be Gucci, but that's not the case. Um, I don't think that we, we need to add much more, but the Suns, even though I said that they disappointed me, they they highly impressed impressed me on Tuesday. I still kind of feel like this is who they have been since last year, since acquiring Chris Paul. This is the standard. I think they should be held at, period, because they are a good team. The organization isn't as good as the Warriors, but I think the core group of, of the Suns is a, is a good team and, you know, could be a good team for the next year. I don't know how much longer Chris Paul's got in the league, but he, you know, he, he's helping to make things happen. What's your thoughts, Navinch? Well, you know, the reason why, listen, I, I like the Warriors. Obviously, you know, that's my second team. And then for me to go against them in this situation where both teams was hot is because I was just, I was looking at the logical aspect of the game and, you know, details, brother. And, Right, so yeah, so when I I picked the Suns, I picked the Suns because of um they had Aiton inside, and like you just alluded to, Warriors don't got no one to to back them up. And when Aiton goes off, who do you got coming out the bench for Phoenix? Yeah, that's Javel true. McGee. Yeah, right, true. Right, um, true. and, and the, the the Suns they're just they're playing some different ball, man, because they got better than they were last year, and um. It took for them to beat the the Warriors, which kind of re- retarded to me. It was ridiculous. Sorry, I use my word. Excuse my word. Uh, it was kind of ridiculous, um, for them to beat the Warriors for them to want to get them props. I mean, they're both neck and neck, right? I would love to see them in the playoffs. Um, but listen, it was impressive for the Suns because Booker went out the second half, and he didn't come out the second half, and they still beat the Warriors. Um, not all to Steph Curry struggle. I won't say it's all on the Suns' defense, uh, but a, a big well, part up. of it. Hold up, a big. Before, before, hold on, before we get any further, April, cue the intro. Yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah. It, it it was the the Suns' defense. Listen, they they ball all around, man. They play ball. They play defense. They are like them and the Warriors are similar. You know, they play defense. They have the ball movement. Um, but Phoenix just has a better floor general, in my opinion. Um, I have to highly disagree on that. They they don't move the ball like the Warriors. Um, let, let's just break down some stats, okay? And yet again, call me a Warriors the, uh, apologist, and I'll I'll gladly take it. It's no problem for me, okay? So Wiggins, thirty three minutes, three rebounds, two assists, ten points. Mm. Draymond Green, eleven rebounds, five assists, eight points. That's usual from Draymond. You know, yeah. may, may, maybe in the points and assists, four four more for each one. And that's like a regular Draymond stat, okay? Come on, Looney. Six rebounds, one assist, five points. Got to get more from him. We need we we need a double 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 from him on 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 most nights, okay? Big facts, all right. Now we go to Stephen Curry, my guy who had one of the worst career nights, all right. And remember, it was a hundred and four to ninety six. So if if Curry had Three rebounds, two assists, twelve points. If Curry had twenty-five points, they win this game. Mm-hmm. Is that fair enough to say? Yeah, if score if Steph Curry um hit at least 10, 10, 10 of his shots, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying if if Stephen Curry yeah. had twenty-five points, 
He's sitting at 12. If he has 25 points, they win this game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, and that's yeah. not by a huge margin. Sorry, freaking eyelashes in my eye. Um, it's not by a huge margin, but it'll just show you, right? So then we go to Jordan Poole, who literally carried them, okay? Yet again, I want to make sure I make this very clear, and I'm going to be dropping a video shortly within the next two weeks on my thoughts on the development that the Warriors staff, the Warriors organization does when they bring in players that they want to fit their system. Because I believe that they are the best organization when it comes to developing players. Over the last decade, that has been their monarchy, okay? Right? So he's got five rebounds, three assists, 28 points. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's become a 20-point game scorer religiously this year. All right? That's fair. All right, uh, Porter Jr., I don't expect much from him, but guess what? Six rebounds, three assists, 16 points. Do you know what I'm saying? The list goes on and on. Like I said, um, the Warriors offensively didn't perform well. Dude, you know how many turnovers they have? Let me just, let me just tell you the turnovers, okay? This, this reminds me of the... Oh, come on, season. come on. Now. What are you doing, though? No, no, you no, going? no, no, no. 22 turnovers. What do you mean, where am I going? 22 turnovers, bro. And what does that... And that also is towards the Suns' defense that the Sun played on them. No, some of those turnovers... No, no of course you're going to say that. Oh, come on. You don't do that. You, you don't know, do some that. Some of those turnovers were dumb turnovers. It, they Listen, it, but I'm... But, Miss, Mr. King here, I'm not saying all of them were... But there's a lot of those turnovers because of the Suns' defense. But yes, you were right. I watched the game. There's a lot of dumb turnovers that a lot of dumb shouldn't, turnovers. shouldn't happen in a, a caliber game like that. That's for sure. Right, like, like it, it, but you're I'm completely bypassing. You're completely bypassing that the Suns were playing good defense. Because if you look at halftime, it was like 55 to 54, something around there. So both teams were playing good defense. No, listen, I'm not saying that the Suns were playing defense. What I'm telling you is 22 turnovers. That is very uncharacteristic of this team so far through this season. 22 turnovers. That alone itself can... And like I said, they lost by a matter of 10 points, bro. Yeah, but it's that, not like see, they got blown out. But that's, that didn't happen when they played any other team. That happened when they played Phoenix. Okay, can I make a confession? Go ahead. We didn't play nobody that was like the Suns, okay? So like, we, we, like, let's not do this. I had the same conversation with Goofy just the other day. Oh, your Warriors are looking bad. I said, bro, they're not looking that bad. They need a big man in there to help with the Wait, press. hold on. So hold on. Somebody told you they're looking bad after one loss to um the Phoenix Suns? Yeah. So after everything they have done this far, uh, is this one bad? Like, I, I don't understand that. You know why. Cookie's a LeBron James lover. He's upset that his his Lakers sucking doo doo butter on a straw. So he's trying to find any way to rile me up. I'm like, dude, all they need is a big man. Literally, Curry's gonna have a bad night. Curry Curry been going off for the last seven games. He's yeah. bound to have a stinker. Okay. Yeah, he was due. Yeah, he was due yeah. for his bad and game. I'm like, yeah. We don't have Wiseman, and Clay's on his way back here soon. Like, dude, chill. You know what I mean? I'm like, I wasn't expecting it to be a blowout against the Suns regardless. I thought it was going to be a tough fought, fought game. Also, you guys will be able to catch that breakdown of that game in the next few days on Spotify. We are going to be putting up some of the little things that we do on the side, the stereos and stuff like that on Spotify as another form of a podcast. So check that out. It'll be coming soon. I'll let y'all know. Um, But I have to, I really do have to give it to the Suns. Chris Paul is doing exactly what Chris Paul does. All right. Let, let's look at his stats, okay? 15 points, 11 assists, 6 rebounds. That is a, after prime Chris Paul. I'm not going to say prime. A prime Chris Paul would have got you 25 minimum. Do you know what I mean? But he is working within the system. And because they realized that the Warriors were so small, Aiden goes off 24 points. Two assists, 11 rebounds. He got, I think, two or three blocks. You see what I'm saying? 
they 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 ran the image of the small ball out the gym. They're gonna play yeah. on Friday. Yeah, it it was all it, listen. Phoenix attack it was balanced, uh, and that's what you want in a good team. It yeah. was a balance. Um, and you see, Chris Paul can score fifteen points every night with the Phoenix Suns, and they'll win. Of course, because right? well, he's gonna help on the offensive end and set people up. Yet again, yeah. me and you both both talked about this, and I was talking about this on uh, the stereo podcast that we did. Chris Paul, um. Booker, DeMar DeRozan, there's a few other players, can't really remember, every, Kevin Durant, a few others. The mid-range game is not dead. To yeah. everybody out here that thinks that all that matters is three-pointers, dunks, and layups, you are on a different world, okay? The elite of the elite players are three-level scores, which means if they're in triple threat, you can guard up, but you have to worry about them blowing by you to get to the basket, blowing by you stopping, assisting, blowing by you stopping, pulling up for a, a little 12-footer. And on top of that, if you play them loose from the three-point line, you got to worry about that three-pointer. And those those individuals at this game, plus a few more in the NBA, are the reason why I still really love the game, and I'm hoping that more players adapt the mid-range game to their repertoire. Because, you know, you, you need to have these tools in the box. Not everything's threes. You know what I'm saying? And dunks. Well, bro, I couldn't agree more. Um, Yeah, you got players like, hey, LaMarcus Aldridge is, is in a mid-range king. That's automatic for him, right? Yep. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's there. To, listen, we said they discriminate against the twos now. Because yeah. everyone thinks they can be um Dame and Steph, which is not the case, right? And Luca. You can't. Um, yeah. You can't. Um, so There's another one too. Sorry, yeah. Dada, my bad. The mid range. The mid range. The mid range game. The points is there. Um, I don't know. Like everyone wants to. Like I said, it, it is what it is. You see centers moving out there. Um, it's there, bro. And it's, so the mid range game is beautiful. You see KD. You see Allred. You see uh, the Rosen. Come on. Yeah, they're cooking. Right? So like, hey, hold on. Sorry, there. But you know, like. Michael and Kobe, they're mid range king too. And look, look at their careers, look what they achieved. So, if we just try to talk to the younger generation right now, fam. Let's not go back to the old head. They don't want to hear that, you know what I'm saying? Also, yo, listen, I noticed because I've been looking at the analytics, man. A lot of our views are coming from non subscribers. So, hey, put a comment down, let us know what you think, man. Go ahead, dislike, we know, like, comment, share, subscribe. You get me? Um. Now, let's get into the game happening on Friday. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, they did play yesterday. They sat Booker. Booker should be good to go tomorrow, but it's still 50-50. That's a hamstring. If I was them, I would if he if he says he's good to go, play him, but the minute he looks like he's grabbing at that thing, sit him down again. Because the last thing they want is a, a lingering injury to go the whole season, and when playoffs come, Booker can't perform the way he's supposed to perform. Well, I hold think on. The so they played, when was it played? They played Tuesday, right? They played Tuesday, and then yesterday they played again. No, they didn't. Oh, no, they, they, played, played they played today. Yeah, they played today. They played, oh, they, yeah, they played the Pistons today, uh, which, blo which if they're smart, Booker would sit out. Oh, they're going to sit Booker out. They're definitely yeah. going to sit him out. Right. They're going to um, want to apply pressure on the Warriors, right? They're going to want to take one at home and then take one away. So, yeah. You know, They're gonna go, want to go for that home court, but I still think he probably sit out the the Friday game too. Yeah, um, yeah, I think so. I think listen, they have nothing to lose. They just sit him out, make him come back better, healthier, uh, rest him. Um, you're you're probably gonna be eighteen and three, or what's the record? Eighteen and three, no, probably so, right. You know, seventeen in a row. Yeah. So tonight, so uh, I mean, in a row. <laughs> yeah, right. right? Yeah. Oh, so um. Yeah, so you have nothing to lose. Um, but if they can come back again and beat this, beat the uh, the Warriors without Booker, I mean that's a big statement. Yeah. So so what you think they're gonna win? They're gonna win on Friday? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if they can win, I no, think. No, but it, what I'm it, saying, who, who do you got on Friday? We I have the Warriors. I have the Warriors. I think this war is gonna split the series right so far. Why do you yeah. got to agree with me, bro? You gotta disagree, man. I that's can't disagree. What? Oh, hold on, but when it's logic, uh, I'm, listen, I can't listen, disagree. 
I'm just messing with you, Fab. Yo, listen. We're not I'm fake over here. We're not like listen. When when I when I disagree with you, it's real. When we get yeah. angry at each other, it's real. It's not scripted. So that's what yeah. we rule. You know, n- n- none of our pods are scripted. These are all right off the top of the dome. You know what I mean? With some with some research. Uh yeah, I agree with you. I think they're gonna split. I think Curry's gonna have a bounce back. You know, um, they're gonna play be at home. He's gonna get a little bit of that fire. I think the rest of the players are gonna step up, even though they didn't really need to. But I do think that they still do need to get uh, uh, a second big man. Aside from Wiseman coming back, they need to find another big body that they can bring out there. Andrew Drummond would have been perfect for that system. He'd be kicking it out all day, and he'd get his little points. Because as much as I'm becoming not a Draymond fan. Draymond can't be doing everything, man. We can't expect the man to do everything, bro. It's just not going to work. He's not built I, for that. Yeah, yeah, Draymond does what he does. He, he does a lot of stuff on the floor. Um, You know, he does a lot. He set up a lot of plays. He got a lot of people with easy buckets and all of that. Oh, yeah, uh, but sure. what I would say, though, if the Suns can come back and pull off a win, a decisive win against the Suns again without Booker, I think that's a statement. Oh, it should be a statement, but I think the score is going to be close to the same. Yeah, I'm just saying, if that happens. In, the, in favor of the Warriors. Well, we'll see. <laughs> this guy, we'll see. Anyways.